Good day, this is Neil with Efficient Automation Services in Houston, Texas. I'm going to start going over how to build basic graphics. So what I'd like to do is start off by building from the very beginning and then going through the different processes and steps of things that you can do, things like that. So what I've done is, is I've right clicked on PX, I've gone to New, I've clicked PX File. Dot PX. When I clicked it, it asked me to name it. And for this, for this one, I just called it HU Test. So then, when you get that, you'll double click on the screen. It'll bring you to a blank canvas. The little pencil right here is Edit Mode. So you go into Edit, double click, and here is your screen. Depending upon the monitors that are being used or what's going to be utilized later on is how you want to size it. Our standard for us is 1200 by 1200. Now what you can do is you can do the, the none what fit, meaning basically on the size it's going to be what it is. Then there's fit meaning that it'll fit to whatever screen you're looking at. Then you have fit ratio, meaning that it's going to fit based on the ratio of your screen that you're looking at, fit width and height. You could do fit, that's fine. It's going to show like this. Now if you want it to be full screen, you would take out this max scale factor and this min scale factor to get rid of these little sidebars and it'll elongate the picture. Um, sometimes it doesn't look as well. Over here is going to be to your right will be all your canvas stuff. Um, it'll show your layers and your PXs and things like that. So what I'd like to do is start off with just a very simple label. So we're going to click new. We're going to do label. So when you do a label, when you double click and you go into the properties, you'll see over here the background is just going to be translucent. The foreground default is going to be black. Um, you can add images in there, um, but then right here, if you look, here is where you could do your word wrap, where when, as you're typing, so I'll show something, here we go. So as you can see, this is how you can make it to where it'll make its own little drop down lines. Uh, if you want to change the background, you can change it to any color you want. Right here is your font. There's your default. So you can raise it and lower it however you want. You can make it bold. You can underline it. You can have something like this if you like. Let's say, for instance, you want to put a border. You can add a border to it. Um, now when you come over to your properties, you'll see it right here to your right, your border pane. And you can pick how you want it to, how, how you want it to look. You can do black, different colors, white. Um, you can change the width of your line, make your line thicker. The one thing I will tell you is with the new N4, if you do anything point five um, the lines when you go into your web view will not show so I just wanted to give you that uh, let you guys know that here's the ridge look and then what you can do is you can actually change your background also your color um, to whatever you like a lot of people like the simple white or the black the blacks all also very nice um, so it just depends on how you want it to go and what you want it to look like. So what we like to do is we like to do a light gray while we're building our graphic. And then when we're completed, we'll change the background to black. Uh, so it makes the graphic stand out a little bit more, but I just wanted to get started. This is the first, um, of several 
graphics will start building. So I just wanted to give you, this is page one.